Greetings fellow adventurers. I have a few questions for you. Is Valheim too easy for you? Are the monsters in the meadows no longer a threat for you? Are the Greylings no longer the most ferocious enemies? Then I have a real treat for you today if you want to spice up your Valheim experience. If you are here that means you want to know how is it possible to survive on hardcore permadeath in Valheim. Spoiler alert, it is far easier than you think. That is, if you obey the rules. So let's get started. Firstly, we're gonna talk about map and biome awareness. Secondly, we're approaching the topic of planning ahead. Thirdly, we're touching the base defense and boss strategies. Moving on, we're covering the number one topic, map and biome awareness. If you think that monsters are the most difficult challenge while playing hardcore or permadeath, or both, then grab a torch and chase a grayling with it. No, my friend, bad weather can kill you just as easily in this game as a troll with a log would do. The safest approach, whether you play with or without a map, is to stay near the shoreline in every biome. While the meadows are the safest biome and require little to no precaution, from the black forest ahead there are several things that long to end your run, from bad weather and low visibility to large blue monsters who like to turn you into kebab. So stay near the shoreline when you explore a new biome because you increase your chance of survival by 50%, since you only need to worry about one side of land. When exploring around, never let your stamina bar go beyond half. In case of a surprise raid or enemy encounter, that other 50% of your stamina will be enough to take you to a safe place in most cases or allow you to dodge roll any surprise attack. Same goes for fights, keep an eye on the stamina bar and don't let it go all the way down. Because on this difficulty and challenge, most enemies can one-shot or two-shot you. Be careful, friend. Another important thing is understanding each biome you're in. And find tricks that improve your chance of surviving. For example, turning off SSAO and some video settings to increase visibility in any dungeon or in dark biomes like the swamp, not exploring the mountain during blizzards, not spending time outside during the night time, not sailing with no map while there is fog on the ocean, basically try and avoid any storm and bad weather conditions since they decrease your visibility and the ability to hear monsters that are nearby. Number 2. Planning ahead. Choosing to play permadeath is never easy. Hardcore permadeath feels right now like the ultimate challenge in terms of difficulty for vanilla Valheim. Also, maxing out the raids, playing with no map, no portals, and you have a truly masochistic experience where dangers lurk around every corner. How do you survive something like this? Well, planning ahead of exploring every biome and basically having a game plan will be a must-have and a game-changer at this point. What I mean by that, for instance, let's take the swamp for example. Given the challenge and the difficulty, you have no business sailing there for the first time without extra high quality food, extra fire arrows, extra meads, including the poison resistance that should be used for the entire experience, and the best armor possible, which in this case is troll leather with bronze helmet for extra armor and mobility. You have no business using full bronze, iron sets of armor with heavy shields and things that slow you down in this mode. Why? Well, because monsters have a 50% increased movement speed. They have extra health and they deal extra damage to you unless you want to end your run prematurely. You need to have proper food which is 2 HP foods and 1 stamina food. You need mobility armor combined with a heavy helmet which adds no movement penalty for now. And you need to activate all your spider senses and be aware about every single move you make. Planning ahead means also understanding the raids if you max them out for the ultimate challenge. I've learned this the hard way because I defeated Bone Mass before exploring the mountain, which made my mountain exploration a bloody nightmare, where I almost died to the wolf raids that happened more often than breathing in oxygen. So, my advice for a smooth ride in this challenge is plan every boss fight and know what raids come after each boss. Be ready for them in terms of base, gear and everything else. In order to be safe against raids, make sure you have explored the swamp, the mountain, and you have iron and silver gear before defeating the Elder. 
Number three, base defense and boss strategies. In terms of base defense, I have found only two base types that can keep you truly safe against any raids in the game, meaning you can chill in the base while the raids unfold outside. The safest base you can get is in the Black Forest, underneath the Elder spawn point, a base that keeps all enemies from the raids out if you also have dirt walls around his altar. And another one is in the meadows with high dirt walls around it that keeps all enemies but the drakes and the seekers out. Inside these dirt walls you can enable that building spirit that lives inside you and come out with the prettiest builds ever that would impress any girl. Or not. Moving on, boss strategies. There is a lot to talk about the boss strategies, but let's make it simple and use only strategies that keep us safe, without giving us 100% immunity versus the boss, like pushing ourselves in a structure where the boss or any other monsters won't be able to get us. So no glitches. We use just basic game mechanics here. Note that the safest boss strategies require a bow. If you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, that's a bit difficult, and for most cases requires you to know the boss attacks and how to dodge roll perfectly. Pairing attacks is out of the window when it comes to hardcore permadeath. By the time you have enough armor and blocking skill to parry boss attacks, you will be at the end of the game. For Ikethir, you really need no strategies, just run around his altar and shoot him with a bow. For Elder, you can surround his altar with dirt walls and he will be trapped in there when he spawns. Use fire arrows for max damage. For Bone Mess, you can climb on any high place and blast him with frost arrows from there. For Mother, make sure you have a dirt wall around her altar to keep out the wolves. Dig a trench around her altar and stay there. Wait for her to land on the top of the altar and blast her with fire arrows. As long as you stay under her altar, you are safe from any attacks. For Yaglith, nothing simpler. Just build a dirt arena around his altar and stay at a significant distance so he can't hit you with his meteorites. Use frost arrows for max damage. For our beloved queen, just stay at the entrance. Use ooze bombs for the small critters if needed and lure her to the entrance where there is a safe spot and blast her with frost arrows. I've not been yet to Ashlands, but defeating Father seems to work just fine if you trap him between dirt walls and you shoot him from a large distance. Since he has no weakness, it will just take longer. This is how you can safely approach every boss fight. Now when it comes to monsters, there can be an entire video solely about that topic, and maybe there will be one in the near future. So, in conclusion, obey these rules my friend and you shall conquer the ultimate hardcore permadeath challenge. If not, you can blame me about it, I can live with that. So thank you all so much for watching, let me know what you think about this and as always I shall see you in the next episode of our adventure, cheers!